Well going traders, you yeah, are the traders here again man. Alright, so as usual another early morning update guys. Just to give you a, you know, a heads up in terms of what I think the stock will be doing. Um, so as usual, um, you know, if you like this type of content, um, you know, don't forget to give me the, hit the like button. And also don't forget to subscribe if you want to get the early notification as to where I think this talk will go. All right, so jumping into Mullen here, um, I may also give you guys um, a little update on Neo, but depends on the length of this video. All right, so jumping into Mullen. Um, as we can see, Mullen has not done much in terms of, um, you know, it, it, whether it, um, you know drops below the the support or push up it has not done much but what you can notice guys um, is that the RSI has come down it has come below the 50 mark and pushed back up slightly so RSI has moved over the overbought territory and now is really midway um you know in the in the rsi so would that be enough for the stocks to start pushing up or there will be a bit of consolidation so chances are you know um depending on the, the fight between the bears and the bulls we will see what happens but um seems like mullen you know losing um, a bit of this team at the top in terms of the selling selling pressure and we want to see it um, the RSI come down a bit more so we can get some buyers coming in guys so you know what I'm not going to complain <clears throat> as I said I was always I have always given you guys the good the bad and the ugly but when nothing is happening that's always a good thing guys we certainly don't want to see the stock drop in okay so if the stock is not moving and it's uh, moving sideways I don't mind that that's a bit of consolidation and that you know um encourage persons to know that yes this talk um, is not a pump and dump guys it's it's basically um, what all stocks go through in terms of consolidating all right so let me make my screen a little bit bigger so as you can see we are sitting on the around the 40 cents level um, as I mentioned yesterday um, it, the the position that the stock is at uh, we don't want to see it drop um, any further we want to see it maintain the 40 cent <clears throat> but if it does drop further the next level would be around the 36 so once it maintains this level we are we're good guys all right so let's see what yahoo finance is saying so on yahoo finance uh, the market was basically ready yesterday. TSX, S&P 500, the Dow, Dow, <laughs> not the Dow. <laughs> I'm thinking pizza Dow. The Dow <laughs> um, was all, all pulled back. Um, in terms of the stock itself, went down five percent um, yesterday. Pre-market back up uh, to almost three percent. So I would say it's basically flat. Uh, in terms of market cap market cap we had it around 700 million so we have lost um, a little bit we are down to 663 million guys so people maybe are you know taking profit that type of thing but i would say that's basically flat no big drop there um in terms of the average volume it's at 215 but the volume that came in is basically uh, much lower than what's the average so I guess people are just waiting and you know watching to see what will happen in the stock or maybe some persons may be on the sidelines you know so let's take a look at um, the comps to Mullen so Lucid basically flat Neo um, as I said if the video is not too long I'll uh, speak about that went down um, two and a half percent and uh, let's take a look at the options guys so call volume that came in um yesterday basically um you know not not as much 
as the day before, but 41,000 was the volume. So basically flat. Uh, open interest for um, tomorrow. We're looking at 49,000, almost hitting the 50,000. So, yeah, um, I would say it's it's a little bit higher than um, the normal, but not anything to, to write home about. So, I'm not sure if this may um, push push the stock up by tomorrow, but we may get a little bit of a movement. February 17th, next week, this is when the, the stock should get more movement next by next week, guys, next week, Friday. It's funny, it seems like um, we get movements um, on the stock in terms of options, like um, every two-week period. So it's kind of weird. <laughs> um, in terms of the following week, we had 30,000, guys. So um, that's kind of it for Mullin. You know, it's doing its own little thing. We're not worried about it. Uh, hope you guys had locked in profits at the top. And, uh, you know, if is it time to start buying again? Um, you know, if you could basically, if you're, you're in at high, you could start dollar cost averaging in to get your average down or would it drop further you know we'll have to just wait and see but that's not financial advice guys all right so i'm gonna switch over to neo so for neo so on my um my screen here these are all the hot stocks that um, pops up for um tinker or swim so the top top 10 hot stocks guys so and then what i do i have on my watch list here quite a number of stocks that i you know keep a, an eye on on a basically on a daily basis so neo is one of them all right so let me zoom out on neo so neo has um been trending down for quite a while over the past two years guys and i had mentioned that neo need to keep above the 12 dollar in order for it to prove that it has broken out of that downward trend but what's happening here neo came out out of the trend but i guess i don't know if it's the balloon or whatever the neo break broke brought back down below the 12 dollars but it's still kind of out of the you know this major downward trend so let's see if it's going to consolidate sideways to kind of move away from this downward trend but let's take let's zoom in and see what's going on so um here is what's happening with neo so neo has hit some um, resistance at 12 dollars went up to um, around fourteen dollars, came back all the way down to um, nine dollars, went back up to the resistance at twelve dollars. It was following this upward trend when all this I don't know if it's the issue with the the you know the spy balloon so called spy balloon came about and you know U.S. China um, you know. Um, tension with the relationship I'm not sure if that will be the cause but Neo pulled back guys and what's happening here is that Neo um, the next level of support for Neo would be this little small support here at around ten dollars and seventy cents call it eleven dollars so you want to see Neo at least hold this little level of support guys if it doesn't, it's going to drop back down to $9, which would not be a good thing for NEO. But we would want to see NEO hold this little, little level of support and push back up to at least the 12 and consolidate, um, start moving at least sideways, you know, up and down movement, which is called consolidation. So I um, don't want to make this video too long, but that's kind of what I have on NEO, guys. So. As usual, if you like this type of content, don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe in order to get the early notification. Take care guys uh, as we continue this journey together.